Okay, this is lesson 4.1, talking about inequalities. So this whole chapter is a lot like the last chapter, but instead of solving equations, we're going to solve inequalities. And you'll need to know some of these symbols. An inequality is a mathematical sentence that compares expressions. It contains these symbols. To write an inequality, look for the following phrases to determine where to place the inequality symbol. So in example one here, a number q plus 5, so we know how to write that, q plus 5, is greater than, well that's easy, we use the is greater than, or equal to, which means it has that little line underneath the greater than symbol to mean or equal to, negative 7.9. So q plus 5 is greater than or equal to negative 7.9. A solution of an inequality is any value that makes the inequality true. An inequality can have more than one solution. In fact, sometimes they'll have an infinite number of solutions. The set of all solutions of an inequality is called the solution set. So, for instance, they have x plus 2 is less than or equal to negative 1. Well, if we put negative 2 in place of x, then it would result in 0 is less than or equal to negative 1. Over on the right-hand side, is the inequality true? No, that does not work out very well. Well, let's put another value in for x, negative 3. Negative 3 plus 2 is less than or equal to negative 1. When we solve the left-hand side, negative 3 plus 2, we get negative 1. Negative 1 is less than or equal to negative 1? Yes, it is equal to negative 1, so we get a yes. And if we put negative 4 in, the inequality works out to be correct because negative 2 is less than or equal to negative 1. So we get a yes for that as well. Those are solutions to the inequality. For example 2, checking solutions. Tell whether negative 2 is a solution of each inequality. So we put negative 2 in place of the variable. So for y minus 5 is greater than or equal to negative 6, if we put negative 2 in there, it becomes negative 2 minus 5 is greater than or equal to 6. Negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. Is negative 7 greater than or equal to 6? No. Negative 7, it would be less than. So it is not a solution to that inequality. If we put negative 2 on the right-hand side, for example 2b, Negative 5.5 times negative 2 is 11. Is 11 less than 14? Yes. Because that works out to be true, negative 2 is a solution of the inequality. The graph of an inequality shows all the solutions of the inequality on a number line. An open circle or an open dot like that is used when a number is not a solution. A closed circle is used when a number is a solution. An arrow to the left or to the right shows that the graph continues in that direction. Let's look at an example to see what we're talking about here. Here in example 3, we're supposed to graph y is greater than negative 8. Because it does not say or equal to, negative 8 is not part of the solution, but it is where we start our graph. So we use an open circle to show that that's where it starts, but it's not included. Then, because it's y is greater than, we'll want the arrow pointing to the right-hand side to show all the greater than um, solutions. One trick that I like to use in class is the greater than symbol looks like an arrowhead that's pointing to the right. It'll help remind you that the arrow needs to point to the right. So it's an open circle with an arrow pointing to the right. 